Now, in this part, we are going to add some fake data to our students table. Right now, if I open my students table, it's completely empty. So I want for practice, I want to add some fake data in here. I right now I have two options. One option to add them all of them manually or create a factory to add as many fake data as I want. For that, let's see how we can create a factory in Laravel. So let's open our terminal. Let's go here and in here we have to type php artisan make colon factory. Then give it a name. For example, I want to add a fake data for my students model. So I, I will name this one student factory even i can attach the model inside my factory as well by just typing dash dash model model is equal to the name of the model which is student so let's tab here is student and press enter okay our factory has been created if we go inside our database factories there's a new file with the name of student factory now let's open this and add our fake data in here so first let's add check what columns we have we have name email age date of birth and gender so we are going to add fake data for these columns so in the return of definition method in here i am going to type name dollar sign this faker and name so it's array comma then we have email so for email i will uh, type dollar sign this faker and unique save email then for h Dors and this faker number uh, let's say number between so the it should be between 10 and 25 then date of birth so i will write the column name which is date of birth and again this faker date and the format of the date so it will be y m and d which means year man then date and finally the last column which is gender so i i am going to type gender again this faker now for gender if you guys remember if i open the migrations student migration uh so here the gender we use the data type enum which is used m and f m for male and f for female so in the factory in here i will type run dom element and i will say create an array which should be m and f now our factory is ready now let's go to inside students model so let's go ahead, open our students model and in here we have to type use has factory and don't forget if VS code did not add this you should add this one add semicolon this is done after this we we have to go back to our database folder and this time inside cedars folder database cedar in here we already have a demo so we don't use this this one also we will not use we will say our model name which is student colon colon factory then inside the factory we have to mention how, how many records we want so in my case i want 100 fake students so i will type 100 
then I will say create. Okay, let's add this is to then. Now let's open our terminal and in the terminal we have to type php artisan db colon seed. Now let's press enter. Okay, the seeding is finished. Now let's open the database and select our students table. Now as you guys can see in here I have 100 students in my database. So this is how we can add a fake data in our database to work it because when developing an application you need a fake data to work with it test your validations and a lot of things so this is how you can add fake data you have to create a factory for that model